Doctor Who is the best. Despite it being my all-time favourite show, a daring challenge was thrown my way. Could I endure a 24-hour binge watch without succumbing to the sweet embrace of sleep? Join me on this whirlwind adventure to find out if my love for Doctor Who is powerful enough to defy the call of a good night's rest. This all started when I stupidly tweeted, if I were to watch Doctor Who for 24 hours straight, what episode should I watch? And then the suggestions came in. Some were good, some bad. There was this suggestion to collect all of the responses and put them on one of those spinny wheels. So, so that's what I did. Now every episode that I watch is random. Yay! When I say every suggestion, I mean every suggestion, including people that had suggested the same episode. So, hopefully that doesn't hurt me. Good morning, everyone. Today I am going to do something very stupid. It is just just 7 a.m. now, and I'm feeling tired already. I just I just got up, and I feel like I I could go back to sleep. But it might make for entertaining content. Um, but I need to figure out what episodes to watch. Okay, which episode is going to start off the day? And the winner is. Oh wow, we are starting very strong, very, very strong, okay. We started strong with Heaven Sent, we went right on through. The first hour went down incredibly easy. Woo! Woohoo! First episode down and, I mean, Moffat really cooked with that script. Okay, episode two. What are we gonna get this time? Come on. Oh. Waters of Mars. We are starting with some really, really good episodes of Doctor Who, which is great, but I fear that all the all the not so great episodes are going to be in the AM, uh, you know. Watching two of Doctor Who's best episodes first thing in the morning is better than breakfast. And then I had some breakfast. <laughs> Let's go, baby! And just as I thought my day was starting well, things took a turn for the worst. Come on! No, 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 no! No! <laughs> you know what? I'm glad we're getting this out at 9am instead of, uh, you know, 4am, I guess. My least favourite episode of Doctor Who of all time is Fear Her. I do fear her. I fear her a lot. Who is she? The only good bit. <laughs> I still stand by that episode is not fun. There's some funny moments, but it's just not, it's not one I love. After enduring 45 minutes of less than good Doctor Who, it looked like I was about to have some more bad luck. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, I thought it was going to be Sleep No More, but- It was an incredibly close call, but thank goodness Sleep No More didn't win. Even though it would have been a fitting story given, you know, the, the nature of this video. You know, I'm, I'm going to be sleeping no more. Regardless, I was fighting on in good spirits. I even watched my first regeneration of the day. No! Okay, I will take some more- Good episodes, if need be. Come on, what are we dealing with? What are we dealing with? We lucked out again with Stephen Moffat's second story of the day. But it was at this point I had some kind of realisation as to what exactly I was doing. I think I'm at a point now where I'm like, I, I don't feel like I would usually watch Doctor Who anymore. I've watched, what, four, four episodes so far? Part of me wants to get on with my day and contribute to society and not make silly videos for YouTube. I was really hoping that the next episode could lift my spirits. Let's hope that we get something else good. Oh my god, no. No. <laughs> You're joking. No! Just as we reached the midday mark, my worst fears had been realised. How did Russell write this? Congratulations, everyone. We are officially at uh, midday, um, and I'm still watching Love and Monsters, and I think I'm just gonna get some Uber Eats. No! Right as the credits played, I made a shocking realization. Thank goodness that's. Wait, what? I didn't. I forgot that Love and Monsters is just before Fear Her. 
Jeez, those were rough two weeks of Doctor Who history. After enduring that, I had to watch yet another regeneration episode. Twice upon time. Just as we're beginning, my food is here! Yum, yum, yum! I also got some lunch and I was really excited about it, but it ended up being alright. Uh, not as satisfying as I would have liked, much like this episode. No. <laughs> Not James Corden, oh no! And if I thought James Corden was bad, I had my first repeat episode of the day. No, no, come on! No, not again! I absolutely love Heaven Sent, but watching a masterpiece twice is kind of like making your cake and then eating it too. Not really, it's like eating two cakes. Two delicious cakes, but that's too much cake. This entire scene is my life, right now. This is what I feel like. I will say it though, this episode is, is the bomb, is the bomb.com. After that, I was blessed with Matt Smith's first episode. Yay. And then a personal favorite, Midnight. Where is it? Where is it? Look for the green screen. There's the green screen right there. Wow. This scene is driving me insane. I need some, I need some quiet. It's a great episode, but I've, I've had enough today, I think. Okay, Midnight, good, but um, I'm running out of steam. So let's see what the next one is. Oh. Night of the Doctor, that's very, very quick. But probably not the one you were expecting, yes! Yes! Yup, you guessed it, another bloody regeneration. No! Well, hot damn! It was now officially nighttime, and my girlfriend had arrived home to witness me folding up laundry and making dinner as we entered the night. And I thought whilst I'm cooking this delicious dinner and before things get really, really weird, it'd be an appropriate time to thank the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. Whether you're navigating through clinical mental health problems like depression or anxiety, or just simply facing the hurdles of life, therapy can equip you with invaluable tools to give you a fresh perspective. Now you might be wondering, what does BetterHelp have to do with a Doctor Who binge watch? Well, my friends, just as the Doctor explores time and space to overcome challenges, BetterHelp allows you to explore your inner landscapes and face whatever obstacles come your way. It's an online platform making the process of finding a therapist seamless and convenient. By answering a few questions, BetterHelp can match you with a professional therapist in as little as a few days. So if you're ready for a journey of self-discovery, head to the link in my description, which is betterhelp.com forward slash crispy pro. Not only does clicking that link help support the channel, but you also get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp, which I think is pretty damn cool. Trust me, making a connection with a therapist can be invaluable. And here's the beauty of it. Just like how the doctor regenerates, if you're finding Finding that the connection with your therapist isn't quite right, you can find a new therapist at no additional cost. And no insurance hassle, nothing like that. As someone who's faced their own mental health struggles, I cannot recommend therapy enough. And I very much appreciate BetterHelp for making it more accessible, so hit the link in the description, betterhelp.com forward slash crispy pro. Now let's get back to the video. I wonder what episode we're gonna start off our night with. Oh no! No! No, 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 no! <laughs> no way! Blink is the highest rated episode of Doctor Who, and Orphan 55 is the lowest rated, and I'm having them back to back. That's what you call whiplash. The episode's alright until the end, I reckon. I, it's. it's. it's just. Bleh. Ah, oh, there it is. Wow. 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 Hey, Nikola Tesla. Then I watched yet another Jody episode. Oh my gosh, a long episode. That is such a long episode. Please. Please. I like the episode, but man, it's long. I'll be honest, what you're about to see is me slowly losing my mind. There she is. Ozzy represents up oh, and ice. Tegan. I feel like I'm watching so many regeneration stories today. 
I've watched so many doctors regenerate. I don't want to see it anymore. I will be real with you that it is like quarter past eight and I'm ready for bed. And that's early. That is, that is early. Oh, hey, it's old mate from Power of the Doctor. Last Christmas, what a weird, what a weird episode. That's strange. Hey, guess who wrote this episode? Just guess. Not Nick Frost. That was weird. I don't remember that being. There it is. Moffat. Hey. I literally do not remember Danny being in this episode. I mean, I do. But this this is a nice surprise. This episode is actually quite good. I like it. I finally got to have my first 60th special, and of course, it was the longest one. Spice up your life. Russell. Russell, yay. There he is, Shooty Gatwa, our new doctor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, good people of the internet. Um, my, my girlfriend's gone to bed and I am exhausted and it's just past 10 now, 10.30. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I, I don't know how. That was a fun episode, but I need, you know, I don't have coffee. I've, I've, I've had like three coffees in my life and they all gave me headaches. I was so tired from this experiment. Experiment? This is something I wanted to do on the channel for, for ages. For so, so long. Because um, I thought it'd be fun. And I think this is fun. People will find this enjoyable. I don't recommend it thus far. What? No. <laughs> I don't want to watch Midnight again. <laughs> I don't think I can. Can I abstain? No, I'll do it. Ah, oh, that's just... How long is it? I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, my... God, that was... That's tough. It's a great episode, but, man, that's... That's tough. We'll get very sleepy. That's what I'm doing. That's not fun, yawning on camera, is it? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh no, 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 no. Both bad, both bad. Oh, Simon Pegg. I'll be honest, I haven't, I haven't seen the, the long game in, I should be quieter, my girlfriend's trying to sleep, but I haven't seen the long game in, in years. Let's play a long game, play a long game. Do you want love or you want fame? Are you in the game? Play the love game. Let's, I mean, long game. Time goes by like that. Doesn't, it doesn't go by like that. Sorry. Come on, give me something that's gonna give me energy. Give me new life, give me new meaning. No, no, no. Far out. This, no. No way. I don't know if I... D I think this might be the one where I fall asleep. I'm sick, I'm sick of TV. I, maybe I need like a breather or something. A breather? I need another Night of the Doctor. That, that was good. That, I, I could handle that. But a Power of the Doctor? You serious right now? I should mention, a, there's a bed in the, in the spare room or office where I make the Crispy Pro video. So it's like... It's very dangerous, this being here, because I, I... It's very comfortable, and... Oh, that's me right now. That's literally me right now. Wow. Oh, you hear the theme tune? That, that means it's time for... Time for another episode. Oh, I was, I was just saying I wanted to watch Father's Day. Here it is. Doctor Who is a very silly show. I didn't fall asleep. I swear. And then I was thrown an unexpected curveball. Oh gosh. I'm just struggling. That I, I don't like the the pacing of Classic Who is is different. I enjoy Classic Who. I got a whole 
whole video on that if you want to see it. Yeah, it's like three in the morning and I can still plug my video. Go and, go and watch and subscribe while you're here. I'm filming this the wrong way. Doesn't matter. I don't care. Subscribe. After enduring some classic Who, which, to be honest, was a lot of fun and I definitely didn't have any naps during it, I needed an episode that was really going to wake me up and keep me on the edge of my seat. You can't make me. I was running out of hope and my eyes began to close on their own. My worst fears had been realised. As it neared 4am in the morning... I don't think this is a good episode. I'm sorry, I know it's like a, a, a classic Who rider. It's just not that great. It's got weird little crows. They say, Doctor! Doctor! Was this it? The end of the challenge? Was I going to fall asleep after everything I'd been through? I could not. I'd been through too much. I watched Heaven Sent twice. The Power of the Doctor twice. Midnight twice. I had watched 22 episodes so far. I only needed a few more. I needed strength, determination. I didn't realize the mavity of the situation, but it was getting close. I needed to persevere. Oh, that's me right now. That's literally me right now. The entire scene is my life right now. This is what I feel like. So I'm gonna need some strength. I started to believe in myself. I got some pep in my step, a newfound motivation. My name is Crispy, and I'm really gonna do this! Yeah, I fell asleep. I really did. Um, I really did. And I woke up a few hours later, and felt really bad, and then uh, randomly selected three more episodes, um, and watched those. So, I guess I did watch Doctor Who for 24 hours, but just not quite together. I watched it for 21 hours, and then plus, plus three more. So I did the challenge, but... Probably not the one you were expecting. Let's play a long game, play a long game. If you want love or you want fame, are you in the game? Play the long game. You should subscribe and go to the Patreon and all that good stuff. I'm never watching Doctor Who again.